What's going on YouTube? Today we're taking a look at external display support, something iPad users have been wanting for such a long time. It's now available on the new iPad OS 16, which works on M1 iPad. So this is your iPad Air and M1 iPad Pro. So um, we're going to look at some quirks and features, some bugs that maybe are here. Um, so hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss this. We cover all things iPad Pro, Apple Talk, and Pro Audio. I'm Chris Grant Jr. It's the Granite Geek Show. By the way, the reason I'm not screen recording the iPad display for this is because screen recording automatically disables the external monitor support functionality. So again, I don't know if this is a bug. Certainly the M1 has the power, the horsepower in order to do something like this, um, but it's not available right now. All right, so diving right in, no tricks, no gimmicks. This is the USB-C cable connected to the display and plugging it right into the M1 iPad Pro here. I don't know if you can see me plugging that in. They're gonna talk to each other. It's recognizing a display and here we have the display is on. Uh, now, this is extremely bug ridden. I'll start with the first thing and that is the trackpad is inverted. And meaning when you move it horizontally, the mouse moves vertically here and vice versa. So hopefully restarting the iPad will fix this, but so far it's basically unusable right out of the gate. Another thing you need to know right off the bat is that this is a keyboard case functionality only, meaning that if I were to turn off my keyboard case, you lose access to external monitor mode. So this is what kind of the rumors were talking about. They were talking about three different modes, regular, Apple Pencil oriented, and keyboard case oriented. But as far as I can tell, there's only a keyboard case mode, which allows for external display support. Uh, thankfully, the multitasking functionality stage manager is available even without a keyboard case. You can still access that and use it. Another bug that we have right now on this is the cursor is on both displays simultaneously. So that wouldn't make any sense if you were trying to manipulate some content or something on one display, you could inadvertently end up clicking something on the other display, which is obviously not desirable. Also, sometimes the cursor will be invisible on the iPad, but you'll see it highlighting things as you're moving around. Uh, it, it, it goes in and out, it's a little blurry and out of focus. Now this is a 32 inch 4K monitor from ViewSonic. I'm going to test it with some other monitors I have here in studio. Because the cursor is on both displays, I can't move it from one display to another. So again, I'm super happy about the feature. I'm so glad that it's here and it's uh, coming to iPads very soon, but so happy that this was not a download today type of release. Let's try plugging it into the HP U32. Right now it's in the ViewSonic VP series. All right, we're back here with the HP U32, but unfortunately guys, it is the same story. Uh, external display support is pretty much unusable. Um, even with this HP, a different monitor here, we still have the dual cursor here, both on the iPad display and on the monitor display. We have it uh, unable to uh, cross between one screen to the other. Um, I'm not able to uh, click on any of the apps down here in the dock on the external display, uh, it cuts off. Like I'm not able to mouse down even when I get the kind of inverted uh, trackpad functionality. It's, it's still very much unusable. So disappointing here, we're gonna have to wait for the next uh, version or the first bug fix in order to iron out some of those issues, make external displays actually functional. But until then, guys, keep it locked here with the subscribe and hit the like button as I'll be deep diving into all the new features on iPad OS 16. Hopefully, the rest of the features are much, much better than the ones we got going on here. So if you wanna see my live recap of WWDC 2022, check out the link down in the description below or I'll just put it up here. Hit the subscribe button, click the bell so you don't miss. We cover all things iPad Pro. Pro Audio and Apple Talk. I'm Chris Grant Jr. It's the Granite Geek Show.